I'm hunting northern New Mexico with United States Outfitters on the Floyd Lee Ranch and Wired Outdoors starts right now. Hanging around in our tailgate, mountain pies and singing Joe straight. My girl by my side and dog at our feet. Tell stories about lessons in life. Welcome to East Coast Gun Sales Wired Outdoors. This week, come along with me as I go on a hunt that I've dreamed about since I've been a little girl. I'm headed to northern New Mexico with United States Outfitters for an elk muzzleloader hunt. You saw Kyle and I hunting in New Mexico with United States Outfitters for archery elk, and boy is Teresa in for a great hunt. And in case you missed our hunt, here are some highlights. Teresa is going to be taking her muzzleloader on this elk hunt, so the first thing she needs to do is get out on the range and make sure it's dialed in. Here at the range, I'm sighting in my TC Triumph with some Magnum loads, getting ready for my New Mexico elk hunt with United States Outfitters. Anything whatsoever until the smoke clears. Did you see it? Uh uh. <laughs> You'll have to tell me in New Mexico if I hit the elk. That's all I could see was smoke. I see a big bull elk in my future hitting the ground just like the ball. I don't want to get a smoke for it. Okay, here's my first shot. Right there. Held on a little bit more. Right there it is. Okay, we're here at the Pittsburgh airport. It's early, early in the morning. We're headed out to Albuquerque, New Mexico to go on our elk hunt with United States Outfitters. So we're waiting to um, check our baggage and get on the plane and head out. What kind of Venus is when your luggage arrives where your destination is? Okay, this is what happens when your reservation goes wrong. I don't think my elk's gonna fit in this vehicle. Personally, I like the wired orange Camaro, but upon Jason suggesting, we got a four wheel drive. Good thing I shipped my gun. Here we go. 
Okay, we've made it to summer camp here at United States Outfitters. We traveled from Pittsburgh to Chicago to Albuquerque, rented a car, and drove the two hours to get here. It's almost a two hour drive up to the top of the mountain here at summer camp. Met all the people here, met our guide Antonio, and now we're just ready to shoot a big old bull elk, hopefully tomorrow. Another thing that I liked, it was great that United States Outfitters had our camp set up for three ladies, myself and the two other Connies. And we were all hunting elk and it was such a great experience to be able to share this with two other women in the outdoors. This was my first ever elk hunt and I was so excited. I could hardly wait to get out with my friends from United States Outfitters. United States Outfitters, Floyd Lee Ranch. It's the first morning. Our guide Antonio is here. We have a beautiful sunrise. So we're ready to go kill a bull. to get a better look down over the one meadow here. So we decided to take off our coats. <laughs> so we're heating up, climbing up, and it is warmer up top too. So we're gonna <coughs> go up top, try to get a better view, listen for them, and then move on. They're not real vocal. Okay, we're heading back to the truck now this morning. It was real quiet. Didn't see anything around here, so we're not sure if they moved on. Did see a, a herd of wild horses, which tickled me. It's like seeing an elk almost, almost. That was really cool. So we're gonna get back to the truck, regroup, and move on and take a look somewhere else. We spotted a nice bull. Some cows went out. He's going out there. He's a nice six by five. spotted this one. That one herd that we saw that is six by five. We still see him with his cows up here and are slowly working into our area. We have another herd down here and some of them are bedded down in a brush. So I'm going to go keep an eye on them, get a look at them. Antonio's going to go out to the point and see if he can uh, see if there's anything else out over there. Why keep an eye on
little elk that was responding to some of Antonio's calls. He was with six cows and we started to move on them. And then the wind switched on us. So we think they got wind of us. And he went out there and turned around and gave us a laugh. <laughs> and on to the next one. Now you might remember when Jason and I were out in New Mexico, we had bugle and bulls all around us. But the rut's over and the bulls are quiet. So Teresa is going to have to hunt a little bit different than what we did. Well, things can happen pretty fast in New Mexico, and this time Teresa came around the corner and right there is a shooter bull bedded down right out in front of her. Without reload. He took off. He's running. Here's a watch. One, two, three, four bolts. <laughs> reload, 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 reload. Let's get him. I couldn't tell if you drew blood. It didn't sound like it, did it? That's a good bull. Don't worry, don't worry. It, it was 161. Obviously, we missed him. Um, we looked, came over, looked everywhere for blood, checked the footage again. He got up and ran, but he was a good bull, but he was with four other ones. So we're going to trek on and try it again. Okay, it's pretty daylight here. United States Outfitters, our third day, the hunt. Came up, we saw some cows and a bull stopped. Came down, they turned around, couldn't get on them. Couldn't get them stopped to get a shot. But he's pretty nice, five by five. So, days early, we hopes are high. So, let's go. You gotta reload to do it. Oh, 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 oh,
elk. I just got my first bull elk ever. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> okay, this all happened so fast. We came upon all these cows, and then we saw this one smaller bull, and we went down, and then we saw him, and Antonio heard one bugle, and he bugled, and we just stopped the truck right on the road, and we took off after them, and saw a couple more cows, and then all of a sudden, I didn't even see him step out, I just saw Antonio throw the sticks down, and there he stood, and I got the shot off, and I, I felt pretty good, I mean, I knew I'd hit him, I saw him hunch up and follow the blood trail and here he is. Antonio did a lot of good calling, a lot of hard work. They call him the mountain goat. <laughs> now we know why after we saw what he did yesterday. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, for my first bull I'm happy. I just saw horns. He set up the sticks and I wasn't waiting. He was standing broadside. I don't know how many opportunities you know you might have and I missed one already, and it's perfect opportunity. We passed up some smaller ones, you know, so. I'm just so tickled about this. First bull elk. Thank you, Lord. I mean, he's not a giant. But I'm happy with him. There's the meat wagon. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this week on East Coast Gun Sales Wired Outdoors. Congratulations again, Teresa, on your first elk. And to the other ladies in camp, Connie and Connie, way to go on getting it done on your elk too. And to United States Outfitter, a special thank you for once again providing another phenomenal hunt. Odd horses, they're beautiful. That's the second time we've gotten to see them. the Floyd Lee Ranch with United States Outfitters and I just got my first bull elk. I gave him a big old dirt map. <laughs>